Friday the 13th the game. Yes, that game still has a dedicated player base. For those that aren't aware, the game's development was suddenly stopped dead in its tracks on June of 2018 to a long and outgoing lawsuit over who owns the Friday the 13th franchise. To put it simply, nothing new could be added to the game, with the only updates being bug fixes and small quality of life changes. And for how long it's been since this lawsuit, I doubt that we will even get content for this game even if the lawsuit fully went in our favor. I will not be going further into the lawsuit because there are other people that do it way better than me. Anyway, dedicated servers shut down. And now, games are hosted from peer to peer. This, in turn, made matchups faster as I found games in less than a minute and a half compared to how long I was waiting back then only to join an empty lobby. Playing the game nowadays feels strange as it sits in stasis. However, that's not fully a bad thing. There are, there's a lot to enjoy with this game and with friends it can be a real blast. Sure, we may never get Jason X and you know all the other game modes and new maps and counselors and kills and whatnot that we were gonna get, but moments like these still stick out and they still happen. Wait, 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 wait. can we strike a deal? And what deal would that be? Deal. Um, I'll give you, I'll give, I'll let you sit on my Magic Kingdom. Uh, and you, you let me live for like five more minutes. If you get rid of that battery. Very Alright, well. now, now run away. Get out of here. Away. You can go. Here. Okay. Run. Go. Quickly. Run. You'll notice that when you're queuing up for games, you end up queuing with people you played with before. Maybe a couple games ago, maybe a few games ago, maybe even a game you just played. You end up pairing with a lot of the same people, and you start building friendships. Yo, Red Dragon, what's up? What? Oh god. Oh, oh shit, it's you. Yeah, oh, wow. Oh Fuck no, you. I don't- I don't mean that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Just like, only to immediately destroy them. No, please, let me go! Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you, bitch! But here's where the real juice is. Remember how I mentioned that games are now peer-to-peer? -peer? Well, this in turn has led to many lobbies being hacked with unnatural effects. If you join a server that says F13 Official US, congratulations, you're in one of those modified servers. These servers have some interesting changes to say the least to name major ones stuff like player cap is uncapped so now like you can have like what seems to be an infinite amount of players joining the exact same game to the point that it just falls right off the screen with this funny little feature of like a million players in the same game if let's say 20 players join the same server multiple jasons are spawned and any additional Jason that spawns after the original will be Savini Jason despite what their preferred Jason is, which in turn led to funny side effects like this. What's also funny about this is that any additional Jason that kills anyone will mark you as a traitor. Anyone who is killed instantly respawns as Tommy Jarvis. This also applies to Jason himself if he is killed. The only way to avoid respawning as Jarvis is to escape the map by natural means. You know car, phone, boat, that kind of thing. And this isn't a one-time thing either. You respawn a service over and over and over and over again, which in turn means that the match lasts forever or at least until the timer runs out or if by for some means everyone escapes. The final and probably the biggest change that these servers do is that you get well over a million experience when the match ends and you'll be reaching max level 150 in at least two games. Some other weird and small things that these servers have is stuff like Jason's rage not working whatsoever and the horrendous netcode as everybody will be lagging in the triple digits despite what the ping counter says. Other game breaking problems is stuff like your screen staying black the entire game and Jason always being visible on the map. But how do I feel about these servers? Well, I, I don't mind them. They're actually quite fun. These servers feel like a sandbox, just like some kind of meme server where you can just screw around and do whatever. I don't have footage of this, only really pictures, 
but I managed to recruit two Jarvises I killed earlier in the game to hijack both the cars and run everybody over or bring them to my little hideout house at the bottom of the map by my own command. Or this other time where we tried to rescue the blue car that was sinking into the bottom of the depths, only for Curious Jarvis to run up with a gun and try to shoot through multiple people only to find out that the gun only shoots through one person. Overall, my experience here was a thousand times better than back when I made my other Jason video. All people did there was shout racial slurs and be complete dickheads, like, it just wasn't fun. I never ran into a super toxic player when messing with the game recently. Like, everybody I've been pairing with has just been great, you know, we would talk and we laugh and we just do shit and we play the game and whatnot. All in all, these servers are completely harmless, unless you really care about your level. I don't encounter stuff like speed hacking Jasons or invisible people pretending to be the predator. These servers feel like a times 10 TF2 server where you don't even have to think to play and win. I, I even would have go as far as to say I would actually would have loved this as an official game mode, it's just some kind of gimmick just to mess around with and have fun, you know? Because I mean like, I long stopped caring for my level. I was level 66 before joining one of these lobbies and I've just been having a lot of fun with them. It feels like unofficial content in a weird kind of way. And if I don't want to play a modded lobby, there are countless of legit games to stumble into as well. But honestly, I don't know if I can still recommend this game. It really comes down to you, the player. But if you're a longtime fan of the game, I would recommend just giving it a shot. Either in the meme servers, or just like a regular lobby. Happy slashing, everybody. Hope to see you book a visit to Camp Crystal Lake. And hey, maybe one day this game will get a reboot. One can hope, right? <laughs> Anyway, yeah, see you people later. Also, no! it's a funnel thing here. Uh, it's funny because you have all this like experience and whatnot. You can roll all these perks, but you can only roll like five of them before the servers explode and say there's too many requests. So, no, there's no point in that, anyways.